This episode is sponsored by Galactic Armory. I'm Kerry Stagmer, and we are the blacksmiths of Baltimore Knife and Sword. We're going to be building some of your favorite things and fantastic objects you've never seen before. This is Man at Arms, Reforged. On this episode of Man at Arms, Reforged, we're returning to a galaxy far, far away to forge one of the most unique swords in all the Star Wars universe, the legendary Darksaber. The Darksaber was created by Tar Vizsla, the first Mandalorian to be inducted into the Jedi Order. After his death, the Saber found its way into the possession of several iconic characters from the Star Wars universe. But during the Great Purge of Mandalore, the Darksaber fell into the hands of Moff Gideon, who we are introduced to in the hit TV series, The Mandalorian. Now to create this unique build, we've brought in the guys from Galactic Armory to help us with designs, and stuntman Ardashir Radpour, who has first-hand knowledge of the Darksaber. They say whoever wields the Darksaber will rule all of Mandalore. Now it's time to put that to the test. lightning-like striations inside of the edge portion of the Darksaber with a black core, we start with mother bars and a big bar of 1084. We've been experimenting quite a bit with different types of shell casting. The masters that you see being printed here are made by Galactic Armory, our sponsor for this episode. They're a design and 3D print company that not only produces the files that you can download through their Patreon, but also you can purchase printings from them directly from their website. And they'll print these pieces for you if you're unable to do it yourself. Be sure to check out their Patreon at patreon.com slash galactic armory. Now we're mostly doing shell casting where we dip the wax, or in this case, the 3D printing in a slurry and build up the surface. We also add silica sand to the outside. It will allow the piece to create a shell around the outside that when we go to the kilns and burn it out, leaves an open cavity and we pour in bronze. Once the mother bars are forge welded to the central core, we then forge them aggressively on a downward bias, so the vertical sections collapse and turn into C's. These C's will later be stacked and turned into W's.
from the fully prepared mold to the bronze. Andrew's now gonna clean this up so we can get it over to the milling machine. Since the 3D printed part is really meant for cosplay, it just has a round hole through the middle. Well, that's not gonna do. Tanner's gonna take this to the milling machine, set this piece up, get the angles right, and cut a much larger section that we can create for the tank. So I'll tell you all the ones that I, I've done. In Book of Boba Fett, I was the two Clatoonians. I was the one that sat opposite the table from Boba Fett that was giving him the ultimatums and all that stuff, the, the king. And then in uh, the next episode, which was episode five, where Mando made his appearance for that bounty, I was the guy at the table that he cut in half. Watch the full interview with Artishir on the Forge and Foundry podcast, coming soon. Now that the blade is closing into its final form, there's going to be some oversight, and the blacksmith now calls in some additional help. Now with the forging done, the blade goes into the grinding room to be prepped for heat treating. Bill's gonna go to the sanders, starting with 36 grit, and grind this piece to shape. We've gotta get it fairly close before we bring it up to temperature and harden it. The blacksmith brings the blade up to 1550 degrees and then quenches into oil. He's only got about four seconds to get this down to 400 degrees. But it drops right down, he pulls it out and begins to hand straighten. Andrew's now cleaning and degreasing our parts. 
They're going to go into a hot water and liver of sulfur solution, and that will blacken the bronze. And now for final polish, Bill's gonna to go to the 60 grit on the sanders and work his way all the way up to be able to finish this piece so we can get it into etch, revealing the pattern that the blacksmith has so caretakingly created. First into the ferric chloride, the blade is withdrawn to reveal the pattern and then cleaned. From the design of the artist Jake Bartok, to the 3D renderings from Galactic Armory. We now bring you the Darksaber. Click here to subscribe, or click here to subscribe to Baltimore Knife and Sword. Click the video to see more here on the All Me channel.